The first five minutes of your AFM exam are vital if you want to pass. You're going to be nervous, you're going to be excited, that's perfectly normal. I'm going to give you some step-by-step -step instructions as to what to do in those first five minutes so your answers look amazing and it'll really help just to get you calmed down and get some nice easy marks in the bag with just five minutes gone. So here's the plan for the first five minutes. You don't need two cups of coffee, by the way, so don't worry about that image. To start with, we're going to do question one, 50 mark question to begin with, get that out of the way. And we're going to go straight into the requirements for that question. Ignore all the exhibits, going straight into the requirements. And then we're going to get the report layout set up. I'm going to show exactly how to do that in this video, what you need to do with as little time taken as possible to earn the marks based on what the examiner's told us. Then we're going to plan your answer with headings and subheadings, get it all laid out looking really nice and we're going to allocate timings to each requirement so we know how long we're going to spend on each part of this question. So that should take you around about the first five minutes. So let's do an example. and I'm going to show you this in ACCA's practice software. OK, here is the question. So this is the first thing you'll see when you get into your exam. Question one, this is from the March, June 2024 exam, just as an example paper. So very first thing I'm going to do is open up the requirements. And I'm also going to open up the word processor. Don't forget, you can then rearrange that so you can structure it so that both sides look really nice. So I'm now going to work through the requirements. And as I do that, I'm going to get my plan set up on the right. So part A is explain why countries might impose protectionist measures. So what I can do is label this part A and I'll call it protectionist measures. Like so. So that is seven marks so what i'm going to do there is just put seven marks and in brackets i'm just going to put that's 14 minutes so i always allocate two minutes per mark so that's going to be my first bit i'm going to underline that then we go on to part b now this is the report if you look there it says on the left this is a report for the board so this is where i'm going to do my report format so i'm going to need to do a little title so this is a report to the board of directors remember i haven't read any exhibits yet i'm literally just doing this off the requirements of Mahoney Co. And then what we can do is we can have a quick two from subject and date. So we'll just do two, the board of directors of Mahoney from, now we can just put finance manager or finance advisor, whatever you want, doesn't really matter. And then subject, we don't really know what it's about yet. And then you can just put today's date in here. So I'll leave the subject blank for now and we can put it in once we know the context of the question a little bit more. Now, because it's a report, I'm gonna get that report format set up initially. Again, this is a really nice thing to do in those first five minutes. So I'm then gonna need a quick introduction. And again, I'll make it bold and underlined. So just get that set up so you remember to do it. I then call them report findings. So that's where we're gonna do most of the question. And then we're gonna have a conclusion at the end. Then in the spreadsheet, I'm just going to label it as appendix like that. There we go. So they then know that's where all my workings are. We can refer to that later. So I've got that set up as well. So can you see already it's looking quite good, isn't it? And that's you know, just a matter of seconds into this question. Then we're going to set up everything else. Now, this is calculate the impact on the intergroup cash flows. So because that's a calculation, we're going to do that in the spreadsheet. And then part two is also a calculation of the results using forwards and futures markets. So we're also going to do that in the spreadsheet. So we can do that in the report findings. What we can do, we'll call them findings. Um, we can put that into here. So we could say part one, please see the appendix. Like so. And then the same for part two. We can just say, please see the appendix here as well. Okay, so we're just clearly showing the markers. That's what it is. Now, there may be a little bit of discussion we need to do in there, maybe a couple of assumptions or something, and that's fine. But for now, we can just put that. Then we're going to put part three, which is briefly discuss using the results from parts one and two above. This is advantages and disadvantages of the policy to settle intergroup balances. So what we can do is set that up as a little heading, uh, the intergroup balances. Um, and then it's whether the forwards or futures would be a better choice to hedge Olivier Co's disposal proceeds. So we can put that as futures or forwards or something like that. That's fine. But we're just planning this out so we know exactly what we're doing. Now, part three, by the way, 
is five marks. So we can put there five marks is 10 minutes. We might want to call that, have a little heading there. So maybe we'll just put this hedging strategy or something. Um, just so we've got a little bit of a, a heading in there. Now, part four is another calculation. So this is a regeneration project. So we can do that as a part four, please see appendix. Again, we could copy and paste that to save a little bit of time. No problems. And then we've got part five. This is now discussing that regeneration project, it seems. Again, without really looking at the exhibits or anything yet, but that's not a problem. So we're just going to put in here a bit of a heading. So this one is about that regeneration project, it seems. Again, the titles themselves don't matter too much. I'm just going to call that regeneration project, like so. And that's eight marks, which we're going to allocate 16 minutes to. Now, because we've got these three bullet points in here that they want us to answer, you can set those up as little subheadings in here as well. That really helps. So this is... Um, the risk management strategy, maybe the first one you could call it. Again, it doesn't really matter. Then it's assumptions. So I'll get those down as well. And then it's whether it should be undertaken or not. So I can put that as a decision in that final bit. And don't forget, we've got that conclusion, which we put at the bottom there as well. So can you see now, in those opening minutes, we've got a really nice answer laid out, haven't we? So everything is planned out. We've got our report format set up beautifully. We've got our introduction that we'll have to write, obviously. We've got the report findings and all this. All I've done there is take these requirements on the left and map them out into an answer. But it's looking so good, isn't it, already? Really professional. We've also got some timings in there so we know how long to spend on each bit. We've got some subheadings in there as well, which is great. So that's a really good use of the first five minutes. That just helps you calm down, just gives you something to do. There's no technical knowledge there. I haven't had to think about hedging. All I'm doing is turning these requirements into a bit of an answer plan on the right, and that'll just help you relax. Once you've done that, then you can go into actually reading the exhibits and you can get into the question and work through those bits in detail. But a really nice way just to start those first five minutes. So try that, see how you get on but you're off to a really good start if you do those steps. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, where I break down those tricky topics into really easy to follow steps, then subscribe on YouTube. You can also follow me on LinkedIn for more exam advice and check me out on socials. I also have my own course helping students to pass their exams. Thanks for watching.